Welcome to a list of obscure foods or food facts. So, I've been making this because there is a lot of different cool food facts from all around the world. So, I'm going to start. Number one, in Portugal, there's a dish which is made, which is a pudding made from caramel and pig fat which apparently is really delicious fact two in the victorian age there was a thing called a pie bird which is this little wooden bird that would basically just you would insert it into the middle of the pie and steam would come out of its like out of its mouth and it would and it would stop it from like it would stop the pie from just being burning hot when you ate it and then fact three in like the oldest days of britain it was a sign of richness that you when you made tea you would pour the hot water in and then the milk because the basically the not so expensive like the not so expensive to normal amount of like pottery would break if you put hot water in and if you put milk in first it would cool it down so people are like look at how expensive my pottery is i can put in the milk i can put it in the water first so yeah that's why they did it but there's actually a bunch of things to taste like that change how it tastes when you do that though th there's a whole other video on that but not on my channel so Fact four. The reason Thailand is called Thailand, but there's Thai food in it, you may think, oh, the Thai food's there because it's called Thailand. Wrong. The Thai the part of it that's Thailand was named after Thai food because a dictator called Field Marshal Pibon Sukram. They are I don't know if I pronounced that right, but they were a dictator who took over and then they basically tried Thai food and were like, hmm, that's actually really good. Why don't we name this entire country off of it? So that's how it got its name. It wasn't actually that Thai food was named after Thailand. So yeah. Fact 5. This is a compilation of weird anomalies in food names. French fries aren't from France. Hamburgers don't have ham. Pineapples don't have anything to do with pine or apples. English muffins aren't from England. Fact 6. The in an island in the island Kalimanos, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right also. In Gr in the islands of Greece, you can eat a uh, basically a delicacy which is fried octopus ink sacks. Apparently, they have a really unusual taste, like dried oatmeal, and the flavor is like chicken liver, which I've never had chicken liver, so that might taste good, who knows. But yeah, Fact 7. There's a food called Roti Sans Perel. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, because it's, I think, French. But imagine a turducken, except for, oh, they just took it too far. So it's an anchovy or olives or, like, spices stuffed inside of a Garbin warbler, stuffed inside of a Ortlin bunting, stuffed inside of a lark, inside of a thrush, inside of a lapwing, inside of a plover, plover, inside of a partridge, inside of a woodcock, inside of a teal, inside of a guinea fowl, in a duck, in a chicken, in a pheasant, in a goose, in a turkey, and in a Bustard. And there, once you create that, boom, you have a monstrosity of way too many uh, foods. I've never actually I had really any of these foods, though I don't know. Like, some things sound like they might taste good. Well, like, some of them, like, Thai food definitely tastes good. I've had that. But then things like the fried octopus ink sacks or the roti sans perel 
which the roti sounds parallel just sounds like it's gonna just be like a mix of flavors but yeah it's like a turducken except for like times a hundred that's all the food facts I have today. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hopefully, you can watch some more videos. I'm probably going to come up with some more food-related things. I have some Fact Fridays on the way that have to do with food. So, yeah. Goodbye.